Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm with Case Co Arts. And today we are going to learn how to do a rect ring pour. So if you watch one of my other videos, which I will link up here, um, we did a ring pour. So now we will be doing a rec ring pour. And what a rec ring pour is, is basically creating the rings on the canvas and then messing up the rings using an object. Now I will be using an object that I have here inside of my studio. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet, but that is what a rec ring pour is. So I would like for you guys to join me as we are about to do another acrylic pouring video. Let's turn our pain into paintings. If you want to be notified anytime I post a video, hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Now let's start the video. Okay, so I have my canvas right here. This is an eight by 10 canvas and I have my colors picked out. So the other day when we did our open cup pour, I used these exact same colors and I promised you guys that I would do a uh, pour on a toilet seat using these same colors, which I will. Um, but for right now, we are going to do um, the rec rain pour on this eight by 10 canvas. So the colors that I have picked out, if you did not watch my other video, are, uh, is going to be seafoam green. This is silver anniversary my version of venetian pink dioxazine purple is what we are going to be using for the base today then we have deep violet quinacridone magenta and turquoise blue so let's go ahead and get started on our ring pour i'm going to grab an object to wreck my ring with and we will begin okay so i will be using this toothpick to wreck my ring Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side. Okay, so let's go ahead and flood our canvas with our base. Again, our base color for today is going to be dioxazine purple. So, have my color right here. I have my blowtorch, of course, and my blow dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and flood the canvas with dioxazine purple. Okay, let's go ahead and blow this out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, use my fingers to touch up the sides. I can see that this side is not filled. So I will make sure that this side is filled completely as best as possible. Then I will do touch up my sides. Okay, so we have our canvas filled. Next, I'm gonna go ahead, use my blowtorch, and we are going to pop the bubbles on here. Okay, let me go ahead and grab my cup. And of course, you guys know me, I like to dirty pour inside the cup, so that's what I'm going to do. First color that I'm going to start with is going to be, um, I'm gonna grab this turquoise blue first. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go to my seafoam green. Then I am going to add the quinacridone magenta in here, the deep violet, the Venetian rose. Nope, I'm gonna add the silver anniversary first and then I'm gonna add the Venetian rose. Okay, so now that I have all of my colors inside of my cup, I'm gonna go ahead and begin our rings. So I'm gonna take you guys up close as we are about to do our ring pour. Okay, let me go ahead and begin with our rings. And remember, a ring pour is just moving your hand in a circular motion. Here we go.
Okay, now that we have our rings on here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my glow torch and pop the bubbles. And now I am going to, before I um, start to tilt this out, I'm gonna go ahead and wreck my ring. So this is me wrecking my ring. So I'm just going to And again, this is me wrecking my rings. Okay, now that I have my ring pour wrecked using my toothpick, I am going to go ahead and tilt this out. Here we go. Okay. And here is our successful wrecked ring pour. I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you guys can see how beautiful this is. Try to take you guys in closer without dropping my phone. And as you guys can see, these rings right here, <laughs> I love these colors together. They are absolutely beautiful. You can still see the rings within the pour, of course, but it is wrecked. And this is a successful wreck ring pour. Again, here are the rings within the wrecked ring pour. This turned out absolutely beautiful. I love the color combination. Look at this area right here and right here. Those rings turned out beautiful, especially with that silver anniversary. This is really, really sparkly. I'm not sure if you guys can see it very well, but it turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead, put you guys back on my lights, and then we will finish the video. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. As we have just created, a rec ring pour with case co arts i hope you guys enjoyed the video as i always say before i sign off number one stay safe number two stay blessed and last but not least no matter what it is that you are facing turn your pain into paintings thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you in my next video bye make sure you're following me on all social media platforms also, check out my website, K-A-Z-E-C-O-A-R-T-S dot